Look at that. Dude! Yeah! Oh, One, two! Man, you don't stink! Get on the gear! Get off your foot! Test off! Oh, Are you, you kidding me right now? Air Force! You lose Air Force! Yes! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Boom, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Well, that's what I'm talking about! This is a special season of Force on Force. This is our 10th anniversary where we look back at the locations, the fish, and the anglers of the largest military outdoors organization in the country. As we celebrate 10 years, we invite you to enjoy the ride from a new perspective. Since this is a show about veterans, we invited the veterans of Force on Force back for some behind the scenes stories and perspectives. Turn the bass it up, suck it in. in. Got Turn it in. Turn. Turn. Our first champions were Chuck Guthrie and Vinny Adler. They won on Choke Canyon in South Texas. It was a it was a different animal than what we do now yeah. by a long shot. Yeah. Um, I mean, in those days, we filmed I think two episodes of Trip. Right. And we went to this Oops, lake sorry. in like July, and then we came back in like September, and then we came back to that lake in December. So it wasn't like, hey, I had fish located here, we can go back there. So every time we went, it was a different challenge, a different yeah. thing you had to go find. As is the case with Force on Force, the previous year's champions get to return the next year to defend their title. Guthrie and Adler did so at Falcon Lake, at the time one of the top bass fisheries in the country. Gentlemen, provided as your human intelligence reports. What this says is there's no intelligence on that team. Pay attention to the champion part. Shake it, Chuck. Woohoo! I walk into the club, everybody's watching me. Got a big old butt and a fat belly. <laughs> Fish on, brother. Oh, I almost couldn't catch up with him. Oh, that's a good one. Come around this way. Come around this way. Get him in there. Oh. Get him in there. Brother, I'm gonna come back, baby! <laughs> shaking, ain't you? Oh, Here you go, you hold him, I'm gonna get the scale out for you. Oh, it's got me shaking right now. Kind of the type of fish that you come to, to Falcon for, right here. What do you got there? 707. 707. There you go, brother, kiss him and let him go. Oh, that's that's some weight off the shoulders right there, but we got we got some more to we got some more to catch. Vinny! Eat that, Chad! I just caught a seven pound bass. All Vinny had to do was lead him to the net. You know, so <laughs> yeah. that, that teamwork right there is really important. Um, you know, because if he hadn't got the fish up close to the net, I'd have never caught that fish. Fish on. Good and too. Hang on, I got the net right behind you, brother. You're standing on it. You're standing on it. Let him fight. Keep him down. Just keep him down. Dude, you're on fire today, man! You are on fire! You ready for it? You ready for it? It's the time to break out the jig, jig dance. It's a jig dance. Jig dance. <laughs> get in the boat, fish. Get in the boat. Get in the boat, fish. Get in the boat. Hey, do you guys need some help over there? Or you... Hey, I'm going to you back up. Don't worry about it. Tie us off to the front one up there. Question is, did you guys handle the rods any better than Vinny handled that rope just then? <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Unfortunately, we only had one fish that weighed. Uh, and that weight was 288. Nice. Nice. Total weight and number of fish? Uh, had three fish for 1726. Biggest fish? 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Congratulations, Army Bass Angler Grunts, Chuck Guthrie and Vinny Adler, last year's champion. You'll continue to move to the next round of competition. And with that said, you've won Chad Nelson and Mike Taylor's combat load for your next round of competition for this operation. Cool. Hi, I'm Big Fish Frank, Season 9 Champion. Thank you for watching Force on Force on the World Fishing Network. Force on Force is brought to you by Skeeter Boats, by Lawrence, by Liquid Mayhem, by Bug Band, and by Trophy Buck Incorporated.
So I bring a cameraman on that shoot who's never shot a fishing show before. Force and me. I put him in the boat with you and Vinny. And I said, hey, come on to Lake Falcon. It's going to be fun. It's fishing. It's going to be a great new uh, direction for your career. You get to shoot fishing shows. It's going to be awesome. First episode with Chuck sets the hook on a crankbait that gets stuck in a log, and then it pops loose and goes right into his thigh. Honestly, I bet it wasn't three minutes before that conversation started. I asked him to move over because he was right behind me. And I said, you want to move over just a little bit? And I went to go cast. And the crankbait wrapped around a limb. And I'm yep. sitting there just working it, working it, working it. And what I'm doing, I'm talking to him. I was like, you ever had a crankbait stuck in you? And he, and he goes, uh, I, no, I said, I bet you've had a lot of these in your lakes, all these fishing shows you film or something like that. And he's like, oh, this is my first fishing show. I said, really? I said, you've not had a crankbait wow. in you yet? And I was just sitting there playing with it. And all of a sudden, it come up. And I moved it and hit him right dead square. <laughs> I was like, I didn't see that on purpose, man. Yeah. You've been hooked yet? Well, oh, no, I haven't been hooked yet. I see what you're saying now. I mean, literally. No, but you guys are probably want to indoctrinate me. Oh no, I'm pretty good about taking care of my camera guy. Oh, oh, got me. Let me get this for my lawyer. Hold it. For your lawyer? <laughs> Ow! Come on, split ring. Two. All right, hold still. You ready? Yes, sir. You got the dude in there. Ready? All right. Now I feel bad. Now don't feel bad. Don't wound my cameraman. That's all right. You know, there's those who've been hooked and those who are going to be. And if you hang around a boat long enough, you are going to get a hook in you. I'm just glad it hit you in the, where it hit you at, because that's more some of the more tougher skin on your body. Yeah, it didn't really hurt that bad. He was a trooper, man. I was just like, I'm gonna get it out of you, but you gotta stand still. And he's sitting there holding the camera on his leg while I'm doing this. He he's filming, going. yeah, he never yeah. stopped filming or anything. And I grabbed it with them pliers, pushed it down, took them pliers and popped it out. And I looked at him, he looked up at me and he says, is it over? I said, yep. He said, well, let's go back to fishing then. <laughs> he was right on going. And for the record, our buddy Steve stayed with us for a few more years. Yeah, didn't yeah. Scare him right. Right. He didn't scare him off at all. Yeah. Did he still fish? I still talk to him. Yeah, yeah, I still talk to him a lot. Episode two was the Air Force, Mike Carroll and Mike McCafferty against the Army team of Robert Maddox and David Burns. It started off with the typical smack talk Force on Force is known for. Come on, Jericho, man. All right, not much here in the fall going, but I got you guys something that's give you a award you with some of these little propeller hats here. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did, he, did he have pictures in a how-to book to put this on? Yeah, see? <laughs> typical, <laughs> typical Army. Do I, do I look good with it? Yeah, you look pretty sharp. Yeah. You guys got a little lift off that, don't you? I don't know what I'm stuck on. Oh, I got a fish. Dude, I got well, a fish on. I knew that. We saw it. I got a fish on. It's in the bushes and the trees. See, he doesn't listen. He's a typical officer. Come on. He don't listen to you. Come on out of there, you. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, quick. Yes! Well, take your fish and weigh him, buddy. That's the mission, beat Air Force. We want, oh, God, there's a nice fish, buddy. Hold him, hold him, hold there's him. There's a nice fish. Don't slack it. Come on. Don't slack it. On spinner It's a good fish. He's a, oh, it's a pig! Don't, it's a pig. come on. Bring, keep the, keep the rod down. Hold on, I don't want to pull him up, so I just want him out of the trees. Bring him over here on the deeper side, all right? Come on. You ready? He's yeah. coming up. It's a really out pig. There. Yes! Yes! What was that mission again? Air Force! You lose Air Force! Yes! Look at that. Woo! Yeah! Ah! Strike King, Strike King spinnerbait. Oh, right. One and three eighths ounce Strike King spinnerbait, baby. Look at this. Right. Look, now get a picture of that. That's my whole fist. Whole fist in his mouth. Not a problem. I'd say 974. 974. 974. Okay. And by the way, hey, this is my personal best. This is one of the reasons I wanted to come down here to my son in Afghanistan. It's for you, baby. 
All right. So uh, we kicked your butt, man. Propeller smellers, I think yeah. we got you this time. We got Thank you. you. It's because we, we, didn't, you. It didn't, we didn't wear your hats, that's why. Yeah, yeah you weren't hovering, buddy. We should we, we should have worn your it. hats. Gentlemen, welcome back from your mission. I need everybody to place their Strike King combat load on the table. Really? That's it? That's it. I mean, I used a lot of stuff today. All right, David Burns, Robert, we need all of your combat load. That's, that's all I know about. I forgot these. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right, I know you like Strike King, but we need to put it all on the table. All right. All right, that's all of it. Okay. That still looks pretty small. Yeah, it does. Nah, that's all of it, guys. Come that's on. all of it? Are you sure? That's an against. All right, Burns, we're going to have to call a freaking values check on you. Is that all of it? No, I got it. Seriously? Yeah. Hang on. Oh, good gosh. <laughs> well, it's... Is yeah. there any more? <clears throat> oh. All right, we're positive. That's it. That's it. Robert, we're not more. person. Nobody's using that one, right? All right, you're going to move on to the next round of competition. With that said, you've inherited the Strike King full combat load for your next round of competition. Good job, outstanding. Shake hands. Good job, gentlemen. Oh. Force on Force is brought to you by Strike King, by Bad Boy Mowers, by Power Pole, by Impact Lures, and by All Season Feeders. What it means to the guys in this group is it's a family that'll never go away. And don't matter where you're at in the whole world, you always have family. And it don't matter when, where, or how, if you somebody needs something, we're gonna be there. And that's, that's the best family you can have. Now, now, you're going on the right side of the boat. That's that's this side. That would be the yeah. That would be the, the starboard, starboard side. Starboard oh, side. starboard. Okay. Yeah. 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 So over there, right? So for you guys, that would be the other, the other side. side. This side. <laughs> you ready, Girl Scouts? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Put that one in there. Shut up, Woo! Air Force. All right. That'll do it. We get five of those puppies and we'll be in the hot seat. Okay. 5.62. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you big pig. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna text the Air Force guys right now and tell them we got a seven pounder in the boat. Seven pounder, baby, you better bring it. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we're in a lot better mood now that we caught a nice fish. That's amazing how that changes your outlook. You got one? Yeah, he's got one. I got it, it's a little one. My name, my name, yeah, it's legal. It's a good fish though. That counts, that's a 14 that's, incher, that's baby. A Looks like a doggone striper, it's so white. 2.66. 266. 266. We're halfway around the world to fish Lake Falcon, world famous bass lake. And I can't catch a bass. Bass cat. Kind of hard to get penalized if you don't have anything to get penalized with, right? Congratulations, Navy Bass Anglers. You've defeated the Air Force Bass Anglers. You'll be moving to the next round of competition. At this time, you now earn their entire full basic combat load for the next round of competition. All right, Squid, get ready. You're taking down. Yeah. <laughs> well, Very funny. Call, call so you're going yeah, right you know back. To, you're you going back to your tank can. Just it's, go it's in. All, it's all right. You know what? You'll always be welcome for a ride. Neil, are you ready to put these sardines back in their tank can? Most definitely. They're going down like a submarine. Small one. Hey there, buddy. 
Nice of you to come visit us. Now, if you're going to interrupt me, you need to do it with the big fish, all right? Okay. <laughs> come on, it won't weigh. Don't cheat. Go tell your mama and daddy. The Cajun is here. Come on and meet us. We're going to give you some good food. Send you all for the full belly. Man, quit pulling on that fish. You can't stretch it out. There's another one. He'll weigh. Come here, boy. Get in the boat. Yes! Finally. Something we can set on a scale. 1.58. We got to do better than that, bud. But it's a good start. She'll work. There's a good fish. Yes. Yes, sir. I don't think we should leave this wall. <laughs> All right. Me two in the well, bud. Two in the well. Two in the well. We landed a total of five fish. Only got two keepers back in the boat with a total of 3.2. Okay, five fish, 3.2. We just came up with nothing. Mm. Well, uh, this would be a tougher decision had you actually had some fish to, to bring to the scales and bring to the talk. But unfortunately, I have to tell you, you were one minute late, therefore you're disqualified from this competition. But in Man. this case, you didn't have any fish, so it doesn't really matter. But we appreciate the hard effort. It is what it is. That's just the way it is in combat. You make it back on time or you don't. But unfortunately, you're disqualified from this operation. Maybe Bass Anglers, you'll move on to the next round. Cool. Force on Force is brought to you by Luz, by Biobore, by Hero Clean, by Wiley X, and by Army Bass Anglers, Army Buck Hunters, Army Redfish Anglers, Army Duck Hunters, and Army Hog Hunters. You were talking about how that was the only time you saw your wife cry. 9-11 was the same for my wife because I was there. It was shore duty for us, so it was, you know, I was supposed to get off work that day at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and that all happened, and my wife was working. Both of our kids were in school, and, I mean, I couldn't call. I couldn't do anything, yeah. mm -hmm. and I didn't, I didn't get off the base to come home until almost... Yeah, it was 10 o'clock at night. So she had no idea where I was or anything. Heading south to South Africa. Getting ready to take a port call. Um, when the world changed all of a sudden. You know? Yeah. We sat there in the ready room and watched it live and we, uh, you could feel the ship slow down and you could feel the ship turn around and all the leadership came in and told us what was going on and what was gonna happen. It was a letter to an ombudsman to tell them what to tell the families and try to give some sort of guidance on what was going to happen to us and where we were going to ha where we were going to go and how long it was going to be and all that. And in his letter, he said that to serve your country is an honor. To serve your country during a time of war is a privilege. And a lot of us got to experience that privilege and be a part of that. Gentlemen, do you understand that this is Lake Falcon, the number one lake in the country, and you have failed in your mission? At this time, this is the first time this has ever happened on Force on Force. We're gonna have to make an extraordinary exception to this operation and send you back out on the water. You have one hour to go out and catch a fish, boat it on camera in order to advance to the next round of competition. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you understand, gentlemen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Move out and draw a fire. Let's go. Lost your hat. Push, push, push. We are headed right back over there to those rocks. <laughs> when you got to run over here and he says get on there, 
the double time it. You know, you just forget everything. I mean, you lose your hat, you lose your britches. Want to go around him? Yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh. Yes, sir. No, he said any fish. Any fish. It ain't legal. How can that be? You can't any keep fish. that fish. It doesn't matter. Any fish. It's on camera. Whoa! Woo! That is a fish of a lifetime right there. You better kiss that fish, because that little dink got you in. You need to you, you need to suck face with that fish, Junior. Uh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Said Navy bass anglers. You've now defeated Navy Bass Anglers Kelly and Dale. You'll move on to the next round of competition. Give them all of your Strike King basic combat load for their next round of competition. Gentlemen, you're excused from this operation. Thank you for your participation. Gentlemen, y'all were out of uniform in the last part of this operation. And everybody knows in the military, being out of uniform has its consequences. So, the two individuals right here, since you're a team, knock out 10 push-ups, here's your hat back, and you'll advance to the next round of competition. Let's go, knock out 10. Zero, 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 zero. Is that all you got? Get up, get up. The other semifinals brought more fish and more drama at the ramp as well. You're gonna need it. PCCs are pre-combat checks. It's a way to ensure your equipment is ready for the task at hand. Nice, that's good, Chuck, that's a good one. The Army team of Maddox and Burns conducted two, but they soon found those PCCs were completed too long ago. Yeah, you know, what really happened was when they were up there messing around, uh, they went up to the uh, tent to get their briefing, but they didn't pay no attention to me. And uh, I went back over and hooked one of their boat straps back up. and. Uh, you know, it's, you know, you got to do PCCs and PCIs before you leave on every mission. And the last thing you always check when you're putting your boat in water is make sure it's unhooked, unstrapped, and the plug is in. No, I think you guys were sabotaging us, man. Saboteurs! And in all this confusion, they check their straps, but they still ain't looking at their plug. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see how much their bilge pump runs on today. <laughs> we ain't got but four hours to catch fish, and we went... Y'all been here for 24 minutes on a boat ramp. <laughs> hey, just stay where you are for a moment. Hold on. I'm going to check the plug. <laughs> the two teams finally get on the water for next week's episode of Force on Force. A lot of fish came to the scales, and a lot of words were said in this trip to the championship round. That's next time on Force on Force. Cast and crew of Force on Force stay at the scenic 515 cabins in Yantis, Texas, right off of Lake Fork. Convenient to great fishing and hospitality that will make you want to come back again and again. Make scenic 515 cabins your go-to place to stay when you visit East Texas. Log on to scenic515cabins.com to book your stay. Thanks for watching Force on Force.